Okay, when you have rational functions, discontinuities that happen can be holes or asymptotes, vertical asymptotes. It's a hole if when you factor the top and bottom, the term cancels out. An x plus one on top and an x plus one on bottom will cancel each other out and you'll end up with a hole at negative one. If a term doesn't cancel out and this doesn't factor to anything nicely with x minus two, it will be a vertical asymptote. I have a vertical asymptote at positive two here. Now, when I'm sketching it, it's going to help me to know whether or not the function gets closer to positive infinity as I get closer from the left or negative infinity as I get closer from the left and from the right. Maybe, do I go towards positive infinity or negative infinity as I get closer and closer to that value of two? Well, the way that we can solve for that is with epsilon. Epsilon is like infinity, except it's infinitesimally small instead of big. It's like the point 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, that you could add to two to get 2.0001 as a test value that you can plug into your calculator to figure out if you get a really large or really small number. But it turns out to work out really well algebraically. Now, I'm going to investigate the behavior of this function as we approach two from the right hand side. That's what this little subscript two plus is. So the x value that I'm plugging in is two plus a tiny number, two point, I don't know, zero, 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 one squared minus six. And on the bottom, my x value that I'm plugging in is still two plus that infinitesimally small number. It's kind of like a cheat because you can see that the two and the minus two cancel out to zero. That's why you're not allowed to plug two straight up in here. But two plus some infinitesimally small number? Yeah, that's okay. Now, what do we get when we expand this? I get four plus four epsilon plus epsilon squared minus six all over just epsilon. I'm just gonna reorder those terms. Epsilon squared plus four epsilon minus two. And then I'm gonna actually divide everything by epsilon. I get uh, epsilon squared divided by epsilon is one epsilon. It's like a variable, right? Four epsilon divided by epsilon is four and nothing cancels out here. So the question becomes, what does what is this? And what I'm seeing is that this is pretty much zero. This is four, which is a, a whole number. Eh? And this is negative two divided by some number. Now, two divided by a really tiny number will become infinity. And because I'm subtracting it, it's going to be a negative infinity. Thus, the limit as we approach two from the right is negative infinity here. Let me show you that this works from the left hand side as well. Here, we want to approach two from the opposite side on the graph. We end up with two minus some number epsilon 0 0.001. That makes this 1.99999, something like that. Two minus epsilon goes in for that x as well. I'm just gonna multiply this through for you. I get four minus four epsilon plus epsilon squared all over negative epsilon. See the negative came out where it didn't come out in the last question. Epsilon squared minus four epsilon minus two all over negative epsilon. And when I do the division, I get negative epsilon plus four plus two over epsilon. This becomes zero. This is a whole number. This becomes infinity. And because of the plus sign in front of it, it becomes positive infinity. So this particular function approaches positive infinity from the left. If you're, if you're curious how that makes the graph look, here's my vertical asymptote at two. What I know is that as I approach two from the left, 
I'm going to be getting closer to positive infinity. It looks something like that. And as I approach it from the right, I'm getting closer to negative infinity. So it must point down. Now, I don't know what the rest of this graph looks like. You can figure that out with the rest of your rational function knowledge. What I wanted to show you is how awesome epsilon is for figuring out the behavior at the asymptotes, figuring out which configuration of curves you've got. Cool, enjoy life and enjoy figuring out your own limits because that's what partying is about. Best of luck.